hey, what's up, you fucking idiot? Are you having issues with your Connect 360 trying to pair this shit to VR chat? Well, stay tuned. We're going to do a one shot tutorial on the proper setup and procedures of this stuff. So, hear me out. Obviously, first things first, you gotta have your driver for VR. Do yourself a favor, install that shit first, and then plug in your Connect. And your Connect's probably gonna go off crazy and stuff, and it's gonna keep on going on and off and on and on. Well, just press Start Driver for VR after you switch this body trackers to Skeleton, and it's gonna pop up and tell you that you need to download the SDK. And then you're gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm dumb. I have to install this, I have to install the Connect drivers first. So install the SDK. And then do yourself a favor after you install it it's going to ask you to install the uh, uh connect uh developer toolkit as well do that as well restart your computer and then and then driver for vr should be able to start work so first things first we need to calibrate this thing so we're going to end up starting this and then you'll see steam vr let's have all this stuff pop up and we should be good and uh I'm using an Oculus, just so you guys know, with three sensors. Um, I'll go into some specifics here towards the end of the video on if you're having issues with three sensors. It's super simple, super simple on how to fix that. But let's do this first. First things first, we need to calibrate this. Um, so my area is kind of small. I actually do not have a big area, so this is probably going to be a pretty good example of what you can expect with the 360 uh, Connect. Um, obviously, if you have an Xbox One Connect, um, I'm pretty sure everything here will still apply. Um, but I would assume because of how expensive the adapters are, not everybody's an, an electrician to uh, uh, make their own adapter, this is probably going to be the best bet. Uh, so, before... I was about to say, we can actually start driver for VR, um, which is pretty cool, and uh, get this up and running um, as is. So, uh, after you switch that to skeleton and stuff, it might tell you you need to restart it. Like I mentioned, um, we need to calibrate this first. I currently have my headset on, and I'm currently holding my <laughs> controllers. As you can see, this, the, I, dude, yeah, I, don't know, I don't know what you expect. This isn't going to be like uh, Vive. Uh, tracking but I'll tell you what it's pretty damn impressive uh, just just as a whole um, so here's the thing my play area I want to say is from right here and I have about one two maybe three feet right here and then probably one two three four feet if that it's a big rectangle that's my play space well congratulations you're using the connect now um you can't move forward you're not allowed to move forward uh, you're just going to end up moving uh sideways because as you can see you see how it stays in the green that's we're in business when it stays in the green my friend that's it uh, 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 uh. it's a shitty dab all right anyway uh you put your fucking headset on uh all the way and uh Press calibrate, all right? So, and this is perfect. So it's gonna take five different screenshots of you doing your thing. Uh, first things first. The first three are gonna be you standing up, right? And then the second two are gonna be you crouching. So let me move this out of the way for just a second, just to kind of give you an idea without actually having to show myself on how to do this. So, uh, how I do it is this, stand straight up, stand straight, like you're just normal, be relaxed, whatever, you have your headset on, but be sure that whenever you do this, you are looking directly at, at your sensor, wherever your sensor is. Please don't be a dumbass, have, you, have your sensor no lower than waist height, and then uh, you should be golden. Um, I have it probably right at your belly button is about where your sensor should be because it gets your entire uh, thing. Here's the problem. I am like, because of how limited my space is, uh, this, th my only option is to be able to do this. If I could go back another two feet, 
I would actually have all of that area. So basically with the connect, you need to keep in mind that the first four feet from the connect, you cannot use because your model is going to start like going up. Like when you start walking forward and I'll show you once we get in there, but anyway, getting off track. <sighs> okay. So the first, first one I like to do is you can either start from the left or from the right, but do it right here, move over, do it right here, move over, do it right here. And then when you crouch, you can't be in the same area that you were before. So I like to move up just a tiny bit, then crouch, hold it. It's going to feel painful. Hold it. It's going to feel painful. That's what you're going to do. And you're going to hear some really, really loud, obnoxious um, uh, clapping if you did it correctly or booze if you did it incorrectly. But you might hear both. But let's, let's give it a shot. <clears throat> Put your headset on. <clears throat> The first one. The second one. The third one. The fourth one. The fifth one. Perfect. Now, here's the thing. If you did this correctly, um, while you have your headset on, you'll actually see this going on. Um, I currently don't have a method. There is a method to record what's going on in Steam VR, but it's kind of a hassle to set up. So I'm just going to kind of verbally state this. While you're testing this, and this is why it's important to have your headset on while you're testing it, um, you'll actually see uh, the trackers. Uh, and it's basically the old school. Uh, like the beta uh, HTC Vive controllers and you'll have one at your waist and two towards your feet and basically you want to make sure that the ones at your feet are uh, as close to your feet as possible or to your ankles otherwise this ain't going to work right um, and to test it out for instance for me I'm looking at myself right now in Steam VR and generally speaking Everything is right where it should be, so it should be good here. <clears throat> this being said, you're going to X out of this, and then we are currently active, so we're good. We're going to go ahead and start VR chat, and we'll go over the setup with this. So, okay, yeah, good. You guys should be able to see everything. When you load into VR chat, I've noticed something funky. If you aren't looking directly at your sensor when you're loading into a new world, you might have to recalibrate. Really big pain in the ass. Also could be just speculation. So here we are. Now we're in, but uh, the problem is, as you can see, I don't know if you can see the controllers, but we're currently in a T pose at the moment, right? So what we want to do is we want to look down the center and you'll see these little balls. And actually, let me walk forward. See, so you see the balls? I'm pretty sure you guys see the balls. Hold on. Let me make sure you... All right, I'm going to assume that you see these three balls. We want to line them up in the center. So, see, like this is too far. You need them to be right here, and I can't, I can't do it because <laughs> I'm standing like super awkward right now. But this, this is probably gonna be good. And then you're gonna want to hit both of the triggers at the same time. So after that, you're then gonna want to walk forward. So the biggest issue with this right now is if you can't tell, and let me go to a mirror so you can see exactly uh, what the hell I'm talking about. Um, small characters usually do not work very well, and I'm going to show you how to fix that. Uh, all right, so it's glitched out right now. Set your thing all the way up to like seven one, right? 
also I think this is glitching out right now because this is a uh, this is actually a bug. But let's we're gonna pick avatar. Let's go to next spot. Oh, so here's another thing. This is a perfect example. See my positioning, and this is awesome if you have a mirror, by the way. My positioning is actually sideways. Um, so it's going to continue to be sideways. So in my room, I'm actually, my room is actually supposed to be, I'm supposed to be facing this way, because that's the way that the, the sensor is like right here. But because of how I uh, started the avatar, now I kind of screwed myself. and my walking left and right instead of walking left and right this way i'm gonna to have to walk left and right this way which i have a lot less space so hold on so there we go so it's kind of kind of like that but as you can see we need to make this a little <laughs> it's so jank dude that's my boy right there. That's my boy. <laughs> That's my boy. What's up, dude? Damn. Yeah, so here's the thing. So if you start walking forward, see the see the knees? Notice you have to walk back like this. And uh See, but that's the coolest part about this is that uh, aside from just the, see, everybody's like all hyped about the legs. What people don't realize is that when you have a connect, you actually have like your whole body movement, like your, uh, your controllers aren't necessarily attached to your head. Now your controllers are more or less attached to your whole body. So when you move, it's, I don't know, it's just more natural. The legs are another story. Obviously, if you can't tell. Your result, your results may totally vary, but all right. So let's go back to this small people, small people issues. Uh, like me, I'm I'm usually a small avatar, ninety five percent of the time. And uh, so when I do this, right before I select, I'm going to look at my sensor and notice. See, actually, this is where I should be standing, right here. And now I'm going to select my avatar press change and now I'm actually in the right positioning so hopefully I'm not jinxing myself where the fuck are the balls where are those balls oh there's a ball oh there's a ball that's I forget I get so used to not not doing it without a mirror up up and then you're a fucking baby you can do whatever the fuck you want but change this back to six Normally I'm at like six one, six two, but this this I mean this this'll do. So it's its own thing. Baby. <laughs> anyway. Um Yeah, so hopefully that was uh useful to you. Um if you like this video, comment, rate, subscribe, yeah. smash that like button, dig. Yeah. Anyway, okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, almost forgot. Here, do yourself a favor, and you should probably have this done anyway. Windows 10. Control panel. Go to this shit. Uh, if you're a dum dum, and and you see it like this, switch this to small icons, cause cause you're a good boy. Do this. Go to uh, how you say power options, and then go to change your plan settings, and then go to advanced power settings, high performance, active, USB settings. Ah. Uh, make sure this is disabled. Otherwise, if you have three sensors and a connect, your motherboard holding all those USB ports is going to be like, I don't know what to do with this. You want me to save power, right? And you're like, no, I didn't say I want it. Listen, I have a good enough power. I have a 750 watt power supply. What the hell are you talking about, son? Um, 
Yeah, so... Anyway, that's it. Enjoy.